Last season, Kyler Murray, top five in the NFL in total QBR, completion rate, and yards per attempt in September and October. But his numbers dropped off the rest of the way after that. Murray would miss all three of the team's games in the month of November with an ankle injury. The Cardinals would go on to lose five of their last six games, including that 23-point loss to the Rams in the wild card round. So last night, Kyler took to Twitter and Instagram with this message. He said, quote, I play this game for the love of it. My teammates, everyone who has helped me get to this position that believed in me and to win championships. All of this nonsense, not what I'm about, never has been, never will be. Anyone who has ever stepped between those lines with me knows how hard I go love me or hate me but I'm going to continue to grow and get better Dan what do you make of this situation right now between Kyler and the Cardinals yeah everybody in Arizona needs to grow up like everybody I shared a locker room with a guy named Marcus Pollard longtime successful big time player at the tight end position in the NFL and we had disagreements on our football team and he had this saying be 21 about it and it became like a running joke but it was a uh, the, the point was everyone be 21 years old about it. like grow up and handle this situation like an adult and I think that includes the owner, the general manager, the head coach, and Kyler Murray. I get it. Kyler grows up in this generation of social media. That's the way that guys communicate. But there's some things that should be and should not be handled on social media. The th- interesting thing for me was when Kyler puts in the post, anybody who's ever stepped in between the lines with me knows what I'm about. Yeah. I don't think this is a between the lines thing. I think this is a thing that has to do with outside of the lines and mm. outside of the football field. And Gary Kubiak was a coach of mine once. And he was stressing home to the point of a quarterback understanding, you hold, literally, the football, everybody in the organization's future in your hands. Everyone. And every day, your decisions impact their future. And I think that the coaches and the player and the general manager and and owner need to come to an understanding how important everybody's role is in impacting how Kyler plays. Yeah, I mean, first I'll say something I said to you guys when the report first came out during the Super Bowl, got kind of lost in the game. Um, the notion of someone anonymously accusing mm. Kyler Murray of finger point, pointing, pardon me, is literally the definition of irony, I think. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who did it. I don't know what's going on in that building. I don't know who unfollowed who. I don't know who's mad at who. I don't care. All I know this, of all the people in Arizona right now, the key figures, the triumvirate of mm. Cliff Kingsbury, general manager Steve Keim, and Kyler Murray, the quarterback. Sure. Only one of those three is irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. And not just irreplaceable, only one of those three, I think, has consistently done a good job. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.